All right, Doc and the captain are back today. Drew, we're by ourselves, but we get to talk a little bit of triathlon training. We, we wanted to start a little bit of a, our next couple of videos kind of discussing different forms of training, and today starts that process. So, Drew, what are our topics for the day? Uh, thanks, Aaron. Uh, today we're going to talk about high-intensity or HIT training, um, and we're gonna, just going to do a quick introduction of it. We're going to do a follow-up video that's a little more in-depth, um, but those three different types of um, high-intensity training. We've got long interval training, short interval training, and repeated sprint intervals. Um, so, Aaron, take over. Start with that long interval training. Introduce it to everybody. All right. And, and HIIT training is a very valuable tool to have in your toolbox. And as Drew pointed out, the three that we primarily use for triathlon, the first one is that long interval. Typically, this set is between two to five minutes at 95 to 105 percent of FTP or on the run you're, you're primarily your 5k speed mile time you're going to go 95 to 105 percent of that it's followed by a one to four minute recovery at 60 to 50 percent of your FTP or your velocity power the next one is the short interval. The short interval is a little bit shorter in, as you find out in the name. It's anywhere from 10 seconds to 60 seconds. That's gonna increase the percentage up to 100%, up to 120% of either your velocity or your power. And it's followed by 10 to 60 second recovery and in between that 60 to 50 percent of ftp or velocity and then that repeated sprint training is it's just a max out effort for in between three to ten seconds it's followed by a 15 to 60 second recovery time again falling in that 60 percent to 50 percent of your velocity or uh, power but the key about that one is you're just you're you're dying on that one because you're given everything that you have for that three to ten seconds so that sprint interval training is a very very uncomfortable and really at, towards the back half of these all of them are a little bit uncomfortable but that sprint training is a little bit the repeat sprint training is a completely different beast because you're given all out effort for that three to ten seconds these are primarily the, the three focused hit training formats that we utilize for triathlon. The great thing about these particular training bouts is they hit the three energy systems of the body, which you get the aerobic oxidative system, you get the anaerobic glycolytic system, and then you also get the neuromuscular system now, depending on your recoveries, how high you go on those particular percentages is going to determine which one of those three systems or if all three systems are tapped. But the great thing about it is we are hitting every single one of those systems and increasing our ability from this particular hit training. So that's why it's so valuable to put into your training bouts and your, your weekly training because it's gonna allow you to benefit from a muscular standpoint, a glycolytic standpoint, and an oxidative aerobic state. And uh, Aaron, do you wanna introduce real quick, you know, when it would be appropriate to throw in a, um, a the long, long interval, short interval, or sprint training in kind of the, the program of your, you know, your training program overall? Absolutely. And, and really throughout the entire part of your mesocycle, this should be thrown in there at least on a week to week basis. It, it, you can adjust which one you're going to use. Typically for that build phase, I do not recommend going into the repeat sprint training, but it can be used. I typically rely on that long interval and the short interval because they, they do hit so many varieties of that, that energy systems that we're trying to hit that you don't necessarily need to step outside of those two, but it's good to throw kind of that repeat sprint training when you're 
it's great for when you're trying to warm up for like an FTP test or if you're getting some race efforts, but it also is kind of good when you have that foundation laid to then start throwing in those repeat sprint trainings because then you're just kind of sharpening that knife in that particular case. As we revisit some of these videos, we're going to go into trying to find your specific what, what your right target is, what your right recovery is. Today, we wanted to take the opportunity to introduce this form of training to you. It's a very, very, very deep and it's got a lot of different angles and directions that you can go with it. It is very individualized. So there is kind of a test that you kind of go through to find out where that right phase, which one of the, if you want to do the 30 seconds, 45 seconds, if you want to go into the three or five minute uh, long interval, it, it, there's a lot of different places that you can get lost in the weeds. So we thought today would be a good time to just target it, introduce it, and therefore some of our follow-up videos will really allow the knowledge to build on your half as our viewers. So therefore you can find out when to put in the right workout and how to find out what the right workout for you is. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. So glad we introduced that. Uh, we're gonna have some, once again, follow-up videos uh, talking about this in the future. Um, questions, comments, put them below in this video. You know, like and share. Um, bring someone new to the, to the, uh, the conversation here. We, we're all about educating and and um, you know, gaining knowledge with everybody. So um, make sure, you know, follow us on uh, Performance and Science, you know, check out our website if needed um, and get in contact with us with, it, with anything you need. Absolutely, and I'm really excited to talk about our next one, which is anaerobic work capacity or W prime. So therefore you're gonna tune into that next one, right? Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you guys taking the time to view we will keep this one short and we'll go into a little bit more detail in the future, but go out there and make some magic. Yep. Have a great day.